Okay, so in this video we want to discuss some intuitions for eigenvalues, eigenvectors, and really how to get the determinant, minus, uh, determinant of a minus lambda i equals zero equation, what that really means. So if we look at some linear map, so let's say you have a map from Rn to Rn, so this is represented by a square matrix, so in particular a square n by n matrix. Maybe as a side note, just recall that if you have a linear map from Rk to Rl, this is represented by a matrix A, which will be L by K, it's not K by L. You should uh, convince yourself that that's, this is the case. Okay, so we have this square matrix, which is N by N, and it can be quite complicated. So if we look at R2, a linear map can take a vector like this, and it could, it could rotate it. Another thing it could do is it could, it could scale it. It could uh, do a slight rotation and a scaling. <coughs> It could do any type of thing. It could do many, many types of different things on a vector. So what we kind of want to understand is when, or can we change the coordinates of this, um, this axis so that the matrix becomes extremely simple or the operator maybe just becomes multiplication. So what we're going to actually do is look for uh, certain vectors so look for certain vectors which uh, which when applied to these vectors uh, the map this is not becoming really a sentence but the map is just scaling. So we want to find the vectors for which the, the linear map takes this vector to just some scaled version of it. Such vectors are going to be called eigenvectors and the extent to which they're scaled, so for example if they're uh, doubled in length then the the scaling factor are called the scaling factor is called an eigenvalue so eigenvalue so if it's doubled the eigenvalue would be 2 if it's halved it would be an eigenvalue of 1 half so when you're trying to solve for these eigenvalues and eigenvectors what you really want to do is look for all solutions v for which a v is equal to lambda v. Now where lambda is just a real number and that's the common notation for the eigenvalue. So notice that a v is equal to lambda v if a v minus lambda v is equal to zero. Okay, I'm going to avoid this vector notation now since it's clear that v is a vector. Okay, so Notice this, this would be the zero vector. So now what we can do is write this as a minus lambda iv is equal to zero. Now if v is non-zero, this, this equation tells us that a minus lambda i as a linear map uh, is, well, it sends something that is non-trivial, so a non-zero vector, to something that is trivial. So this is not one-to-one. -one. And so in particular, A minus lambda I is not invertible. And as a consequence, such things can be found by just solving a minus lambda i 
is equal to zero. So this is the equation for so equation for finding finding eigenvalues which just relies on the fact that it sends a non-zero vector to something which is zero which means it has uh, it's not one to one it has a non-trivial kernel and therefore the map is not invertible so just to recap the eigenvectors are the vectors for which the linear map simply scales the vector the extent to which these vectors are scaled are called the eigenvalues and the eigenvalues are computed by solving this equation determinant a minus lambda i equals zero. I have other videos concerning actual concrete examples of computing eigenvalues and eigenvectors which I encourage you to check out uh, but that's it for this video. So if you like the video please hit the like button and consider subscribing if you're new to the channel. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down in the comment section down below and there'll be notes to accompany this video in the description box. Thanks guys, I'll see you in the next video.